Hey everybody, it's April from Crafty Goodness. I have a quick video I wanted to show you something that I've been working on. Um, this is completely inspired by, um, I don't know her first name because I just recently started following her, but her YouTube channel is Lyric Lover Crafts or something, Lyric Lover Crafts. I think it's, I think it's that. Um, but anyway, I, I'm, she did a tutorial on these and I just thought they were so cute so um, I tried my hand at it as well so let me show you um, so a while ago I did though I did a Dollar Tree haul on the little uh, paper pads so um, these I think the brand is called Beacon B-E-A-C-O-N and it's got like a blue black and white cover right here it's just 150 pages of white paper um, I bought them with the intention of covering them and making them little Christmas paper pads so that's what I did I'm what I and what I did was I took so I did eight different ones and I did four from one paper collection and four from another paper collection you know those kits that you can buy that have the all the different color um, and design papers 12 by 12 paper and then it has stickers and sometimes it has ephemera in it. So I used two different collections for that. This was, um, I forget the name of this one. I think it was Holly Jolly. Um, so that was this one. And basically what you do is you take two um, sheets of paper and you cut them to 12 inches long and then four inches wide because your little book is four inches wide by six and you um, it put adhesive on the front and then you fold it over and then you um, use your bone folder and you crease right here at the very top and then you fold this piece over where you have put adhesive on this side and then you just flatten it down and then you do the same exact thing to the back um, since these are my first set, I did kind of have a hard time of getting them to line up exactly correctly on the side, but I still think they're really, really cute. Then I just went through and just kind of grabbed whatever I had as far as ephemera, stickers. Um, these were ephemera, and I just kind of put those right there. So there's this one, and then there's this one. So this paper collection is really cute. It's like a red and white, and then it's got pink in it, and I think it's absolutely adorable. So this one, I just added a white snowflake, and then this little pink circle here with a Christmas bike and then trees in the front basket. And then your inside is like that, and then the back, and then the back right there. So there's those two. Then we have this one. This one says, my all your days be merry. And then I just glued on a little tag right here. And then there's the back. I love, I love that. I love those colors together. And then there's gold foiling on some of these papers. So pretty. And then the last one from that collection is this one. So we've got the striping here. See, I didn't line it up good over on this side. So we got the striping, gold foil, and then I just um, put on two ephemeras with adhesive. Enjoy every moment this season. And then a snowman. Sorry if you can hear my husband in the background. He works from home now, so. <laughs> um, so there's those two. And then the back, that gold foiling, so pretty. I love it. So that's that collection. And then the next collection, I know it was called Christmas Delivery, but I want to say it was Echo Park. Um, do I still have it up here? No, I don't. But I think it was an Echo Park paper pad that I, or paper collection that I got from Tuesday morning, more than likely. Um, so this one is this really pretty now these four pads that I'm getting ready to show you, they're colored papers on the inside. 
the last time I went I bought these four. I was looking for the regular white ones, but these are the only ones I found. So um, that's what these are. And again, here's this really pretty plaid on the front and the back. And then I just put a wish and then the little truck with the tree in the back. So cute. I love it. So there's that one. And then this one, just delivery schedule. So this piece right here is an actual cutout from the paper pad. And then I just put on these little stickers. So there's that one. Then we have this one. Now this one I just simply uh, used adhesive and put on one of the cutouts. Uh, with both of these, I did use my corner punch and round out the, the edges right here. This one too, I rounded out the edges. This one just says, let's go get the Christmas tree. And I just thought that this image was so adorable, I didn't need to add anything else to the front. And this one is really cute and farmhouse-y, and it's got the faux wood look. And then the last one, in this collection this one I messed up on <laughs> probably have to keep this one for myself um, up here I messed up this one is just a green pretty green inside and then on the outside I just put this cute little plaid truck that says Christmas delivery and then a little sticker that says Merry Christmas I think they're so cute so I was thinking that if I wanted to give them as a gift which I think think I might do you know I could take two from the same collection and kind of put them together and then wrap them with ribbon and then maybe a homemade tag and I think that would be really really cute and there's your gift um, you know so cute I might do these two together but yeah and then the same with these I could put these two together and then these two together and just put some really pretty ribbon on the front, a bow, and then attach a, a tag. So that is my quick video. I just wanted to show you those that I was working on. They're really fun to make. And um, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are um, a new viewer, welcome. And if um, you haven't already done so, please hit that subscribe button and become a part of my YouTube friend group. And also, if you want to hit that bell notification in the top, I think it's the top right-hand corner of the video. That way you can be notified of future upcoming videos that I post. And again, I thank you all so much for watching. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.